شوزن آن شانی 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 شوزن What's happening, man? Male, mid to late twenties, no ID. Hospital having this. This is what I like to wake up to. Parent OD, needle marks. Syringe. Yeah, I've got to confirm with Sarko. He's on his way. Pendant. Sasha, twenty-five. Three kisses. Someone like him. Hmm, not enough. I've got a briefing. I'll see you back there. Maybe it wasn't his. Maybe. Homeless junkie, silver jewellery. Why not sell it? Pawn it. Sentimental value. Oh, you've seen the state of him. It's beyond sentiment. But all we've got is a necklace with a name on. What we've got, Gemma, is a lead. Make yourself available. Some a, a stomach bug. I've sent her back to bed. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, Julie, but the doctors are busy. I'll keep an eye on her. What are you doing? I'm sure she'll be better by Monday. OK, bye. Mum. You could do the day off. I can't just pull a sickie. Well, I've just pulled it for you. Oh, ring back. Make me a liar. We could spend the day together. I'll go and get dressed. And, um, you could change out your work clothes. Tracy, rigging was sold. Knock on some doors. See if anyone was in the vicinity of Floral Road between 11pm and midnight Sunday. Mm -hmm. Ian, um, red Toyota. Run a check on these plates. Local garages. Mom. Stolen vehicles. I want to see some progress on that case. Mom. Keeping you awake, Sergeant Hollins. Fraud inquiry. Report imminent. I've got to follow up on that body we found this morning. Preliminary doctor's report. Confirmed OD. No suspicious circumstances. I don't know who he was. We'll throw it down to uniform. One hour tops. No, I can't spare you, Rob. OK, we're done. Let's go. Young man shoots himself up in the middle of the night. Mm, I read the report. Somebody's son. Have you run prints? Prints, DNA. Well, then wait for the profiles. In the meantime, somebody's son takes a back seat. Yes, boss. You look wiped out. Early start. Baby Scarlet was a tough case, but we've got to be tougher. Otherwise, half the force would be in counselling. You want to prove yourself? Wrap up the fraud inquiry. And no one knew it, Sasha. Mm. You had to score his smack from somewhere. Yeah, the dealers are all still asleep. Well, I'd hit to the fire and I'd been bounced. Shopping parade. 24 hour surveillance. Will you check the tapes? Just what I like to see, a happy tea. Hmm, nice holiday. Bliss! Welcome back. Partners meet at three o'clock sharp. Cut and thrust of a busy surgery. How oh, I've missed. Why wasn't I told? Not telling you now. So no time to wriggle out of it. Daniel, we need to talk about Simon. I told you the day off myself. He was up the crack this morning. He cannot wake up quietly. Oh, well, then the fresh air will do you good. Mm. Camp surgery, I need you to cover for Ruth. She's okay. Mm. At least she's got a mum to look after her. Yeah. You might want to have a look at this. Pawnbrokers, 18 hours ago. Four minutes later. Dead man walking. Maybe the pendant was pawned. Maybe somebody bought it back. This is nice. 
me and you. I want to hear more about the years I missed. Everything that happened since you left me. Didn't have a choice. That's stifling martyrdom. I thought you would have grown out of that by now. I was ill, Ruth. Gordon said I was grieving for Vicky. Can we please have one day when we don't talk about Vicky? Well, I think it's good to talk about her, love. A few sessions with the psychiatrist and you think you know what's best? Come on, let's walk around the lake. Season die. Oh, we're nice to me. How much would this fetch at your generous prices? I'd need to feel the weight. Very fine quality. Do you recognise this man? Never seen him before. It's funny that the cameras outside your shop they tell quite a different story. Huh. We found his body last night. I thought he looked a bit lifeless. I can be back here in 20 minutes with a warrant. Some junkie. Pawned his necklace whenever he needed a fix. He always brought it back. Do I get a name? Address? A ticket stub is all I insist on. You don't inquire in my line of business. What happened to it? The necklace? Now there's a question. from Frankie the Fence. Do you think he's hiding something? Well, I'm dead, man. He was a regular customer. But he claims he doesn't know him on first name terms. Do you want me to bring him in? Not on driver's watch. Can you make your way back? I think I could be onto something. Your brother's dead. I'm here. The police have been round. Asking about that jewellery. So what did you tell them? Nothing. I might be dog-eared, but I'm not stupid. You should get out of Leatherbridge. Yeah. You better be bringing me that report. Interesting reading. Bit of a horror story. So why is it on my desk? A hunch. Sit down. Who authorised this? You did. That's what I told the heirs, you. Sasha Pearson, fatally wounded. Mm. Stabbed to death by her loving husband 11 years ago. I remember the trial. Not the way I do. Oh, William Pearson. Gave me the creeps. Law professor. Shiny shoes, calm, composed. His wife had just been stabbed with a kitchen knife. Always protested his innocence. Mm. Claimed they disturbed intruders. He was stabbed as well. A superficial wound, self-inflicted. He was clever. She was insured. She was also having an affair. He told the police that there'd been jewellery stolen. Yeah, his statement didn't stack up. 
motive, forensic evidence. He killed her. Somebody's son was wearing that. And if that necklace belonged to Sasha Pearson, then William Pearson could be innocent. I'm going to call Julia. You're a receptionist, Ruth. The surgery will survive without you. Two specials, thank you. I've been thinking about the future. Come back with me. Come and live in Leicester. We can't live together. We tried it once, it didn't work out. Well, maybe we need to try a bit harder. Dan used to tell me stories about his adventures on the road. We do not discuss your father. I thought you wanted to talk. I don't want to talk about him. You just want to talk about Vicky. Oh, don't be clever, Ruth. Every time you went on a job, I begged to go to. Anywhere but home. Anyone but you. And where is he now, your father? He took to the road and never came back. He drove him away. He abandoned us, Ruth. He didn't care. At least I tried to love you. Trying to farm murder. There were skin cells underneath the victim's fingernails. Such a person put up a fight. Never tested. Why not? Technology wasn't up to it. Sample was minute. But it was stored. If it matches our dead man in the park. Then our dead man in the park is a murderer. Get forensics to cross check. Fast track it. Nearly done. Leave that, we're going out. Out where? Prison visit. Kinsley. I'll even let you drive. Nailing William Pearson was a good career move. Got me a promotion. A jury did find him guilty. Mm. Based on evidence gathered during my investigation. My arrest. My conviction. My reputation. You're a good copper. So if mistakes were made, it's your chance to put them right. Mm. Seems you're the one putting things right. I'm DS Hollins, and DI driver you know. Inspector? Haven't we done well? Sit down, Dr Pearson. I'd rather stand, thank you. Keep you in my sight. We'd like to ask you some questions about the night your wife died. I answered your questions 11 years ago. You told the police that you disturbed a burglary. The police didn't want to know. There's been development. Why else would D.I. Driver take the trouble to visit? The sooner you speak to us... The sooner you can get away. The thing is, Inspector, I can't escape from what happened. Locked up in here, little to do but reminisce. You should have my nightmares. Do you recognize this man? Intruders wore masks. It's all in my statement. I would imagine it's difficult to remember things after all this time. I remember every detail the night I lost my wife, my freedom. I remember how she twisted my words, manipulated my testimony, fixated on her suspect in her desperation to get a conviction. Eleven years of bright lights and banging doors, left alone to rot with stinking latrines, inedible food, oh, and a certain notoriety. That's enough. And now, here we are. Did this belong to your wife? Beautiful, Sasha. I told the police it was missing. There was a ring, money, things they were able to run with. 
I had it inscribed for our silver anniversary. Sasha wore it that night. We went out to celebrate. We argued. Came back early. What did you argue about? I'm sure you've read the report. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to us, sir. I'd like to keep it. It's evidence in the case we're pursuing. A case that could prove my innocence? Maybe. Sasha was going to leave me. She told me over dinner. Our anniversary. Another man, a better man than I was. She lay there, bleeding, fighting for breath. And you didn't help her? Calling his name. You shouldn't be too quick to clear me. I'll sue you with loud bells for wrongful arrest every penny I can get. Who's there? How'd you get in? The police could be watching. You've tipped some off. I haven't, I swear. Why did Declan keep the necklace? He couldn't let her go. It finished him what happened that night. He was always a liability. He was your brother. Shut it! You should have looked after him. He didn't want my help. He hated me. He couldn't forget. Yeah. And now look where we are. Dead men don't share secrets. True enough, Frankie. True enough. Two intruders. One of them's dead. The other one got away with it. It's hearsay. Get me some evidence. Beyond reasonable doubt. Pearson would never have been convicted. DNA results. Now, they're not of evidential standard, but the skin cells underneath Sasha Pearson's fingernails didn't match our stiff. Are you certain? 95%. And the profile, it didn't match William Pearson either. He wasn't the China Farm murderer. We'll have to wait for the official report. Well, our dead man has got a record. Declan Gillen. Previous, drug possession, burglary. Accomplice, Jake Gillen. Older brother. We find Jake. We find the man who murdered Sasha Pearson. Mm -hmm. Also arrested for receiving stolen goods, Frankie Walker. Better bring him in. I wasn't sure what to pack. You're too old for some of this stuff. What are you doing? I'm making amends, sweetheart. I thought about what you said when I was sitting there on my own. Come to Leicester for a trial period. We'll see how we get on. What's the point, Mum? We don't get on. We have to try. No! I'm not coming with you. You will do. As you're told. You sent us to the house. You told us what to look for. No, I'm not going down for this. No one's going down. They've got the man who killed her. Except he didn't. Yeah? Well, there's only two of us left who know the truth. And one of them's got a big mouth. Please! Open up! In here, help me! Help! Frank Walker, I'm arresting you in connection with the murder of Sasha Pearson. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say. Where do you think you're going? Oh. Oh. Get off me, you nit! For assaulting a police officer, and that's just for starters. When did you last see your brother? Fell out years ago. You were both arrested for burglary? Yeah. We were kids. We did the time. You got out and you picked up from where you left off. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? You and Declan robbed houses. You fenced the looting Frankie's shop. Bet that was a lucrative arrangement. But one night, something went wrong. I was wounded. I couldn't help her. There were specks of blood on your shirt. I'd been stabbed. Your wife's blood. I held her in my arms. Your prints were on the murder weapon. I picked up the knife, rang for an ambulance. An hour after the alleged assault took place. I held her as she lay there dying. 
The Pearsons came home early and they caught you in the house. You stabbed Sasha Pearson and ran. You left her there to bleed to death. No. The husband killed her. It was all over the newspapers. Yeah, I think they locked him up for life. There were no intruders in your house. Yes. I think you killed your wife, William. No. She was having an affair. You were angry. You argued. Earlier. You lost control and you stabbed her. You made up a story to cover up your crime. I loved her. Jake Gillen's saliva test. What were you doing at Frankie's shop? Did you go around to keep him quiet? No comment. The eye driver has just entered the room. Frankie Walker's given us a statement implicating you in the murder of Sasha Pearson. No, he's a liar. Ask anyone. Tell us what happened then. Look, I wasn't even there. Look, I'm not saying no more. No comment. We've found new DNA evidence from the crime scene. It matches your profile. It proves you were at the house. Yeah, well, it doesn't prove I killed anyone, does it? It was found under Sasha Pearson's fingernails. No! Did she struggle when you stabbed her? Hmm? Did she claw and kick? Look, it was Declan. This is all Declan's fault. Just, just a stupid kid. The eye driver has just left the room. Jake Gillen, I am arresting you on suspicion of murdering such a person. You do not have to say anything that may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Case will be referred to the public prosecutor. Original conviction will be overturned. Press will have a field day. Pearson left his wife to die. Well, like I said, nasty piece of work. You know, I never meant to undermine you. Well, you did. There's a bus in 40 minutes, sir. We'll catch it if we're quick. My life got better the day I left home. Oh, where has this come from? You asked me. The last ten years. Well, what sort of an answer is that? Didn't last. Being happy. He never does. I was sectioned. Locked up. Yes, a breakdown, I know. Yeah. I lost my mind. I suppose that was all my fault. I thought I was Vicky. I thought I was my dead sister. You could never be Vicky. You nearly destroyed me. I will not let that happen again. Ruth! Julia! You're not being rational. Do not excuse the way I feel! I forgive you for killing Vicky. It wasn't my fault. And Vicky forgives you too. It wasn't my fault! She's looking down on both of us and she's smiling and she's saying, I forgive you, Ruth. It wasn't my fault! Ruth? I'm coming! But you need me. We need each other. There is no room for you in my life, Connie. You've never been a mother to me. I want you to leave now. If 
I walk out now, you won't see me again. I hope not. Strong girl now. Come on, come on. It's gonna be fine. Yes, it's gonna be good. Okay. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. <laughs> I made a mistake, Joe. Turning down the job. I see. I want to come to Boston. I need to come. If it's not too late. No, no. Of course, it's not too late. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I've said everything I can possibly say about Scarlett. I know. Including a full statement to the police and nobody, not one single person, has accused me of being in any way neglectful. It's my dad. He seemed fine five minutes ago. Every now and then, he goes weird. I could have thought to miss something that obvious. Well, inexperience, I suppose. Or total incompetence. Mm. We've just five couples remaining.